Antonio Brown, what is going on? Uh, <laughs> Lost his deal. Trip, you want to start that one? I don't or? even know <laughs> where right. to start. I'm, you know what? I'm not even going. I'm not even because I'm still kind of in in torn in between because I'm still as as far as the uh, the the woman the the trainer or whatever as far as that one goes I'm a little bit on the fence just because of the fact yeah. that for two reasons one the videos came out of her you know all boot up with with Antonio mm -hmm. Brown and two the fact that as opposed to going to the police she went to a lawyer and that was that was the first thing that she did yeah so that kind of you know puts me in a space where I, where I, I'm thinking this is more of a money thing and yeah. you're trying to bandwagon off of the issues that Antonio Brown has just had gone through with the Steelers coming into this season with the Raiders, and then again, you know, being getting out of there and going to New England. So it, I kind of get that feeling like you're, you're trying to capitalize off this situation. Because I don't understand how you go to a lawyer first, but you're saying that this man sexually assaulted you as opposed to going to the police. Yeah. That kind of changes things for me with that one. I feel like, yet again, we're here talking about these players <laughs> and determining whether or not. The woman is lying and all this. And I know just last week we spoke about how it takes you know forever for women sometimes to come forward. Yeah. Now, I do have kind of a source that actually spoke to Antonio Brown directly. And he provided this source uh, with the videos <laughs> of them hanging out after the alleged situation. And I think it's, it's tough because the timing of... Mm -hmm. I think there's two yeah. situations now that yeah. he's being accused of. And it's, right. it's hard, man. I don't know... Um, what to believe? Yeah, I, as far as the rape allegations, those are very serious allegations, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to get too much into them until we get more details. She Absolutely. just sat with the NFL, I believe it was on Monday yes. this week. So that's all still fresh information. I mean, she we heard about this news a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from everything they're reporting, she's been very forthcoming with any information or anything they need from her. But also, as you mentioned, there was pictures that surfaced showing them hanging out afterwards. After, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's been documented that they've been friends since college. Yeah. They mm -hmm. lost touch, then they regained touch, and mm -hmm. then they've had this off and on relationship. So is it a money grab? Is it him taking advantage of someone that he was comfortable with? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, honestly, I hope it's not that. Yeah. I, I, I hope... You know, I hope it's a situation where it was a misunderstanding and she's expecting something from it. Not to downgrade the allegations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well she did she she he, uh, he allegedly got, was asking for money to start a business. Right. Oh from, man. From yeah, that, so, and that's why I say like So you know, there's a whole lot going on with crazy. that situation. Yeah, right. He's he's got young children and I would hate for it to be a situation where he, he did cross the line. Yeah. Um but aside from that, I mean we we've seen the situation with the Raiders play out. Mm -hmm. Right. We and then the Sports Illustrated article article this week really paints a <laughs> negative picture of Antonio Brown yeah. and his relationships with a lot of different people, yeah. including yeah. another potential uh, sexual misconduct. It wasn't uh, it wasn't a rape, it wasn't an assault, but he really came on strong to a woman who felt a certain type of way about it in a professional setting. Yeah. And don't don't forget the article, a whole article about him farting in his doctor's face. I mean, like, well, that was part point, of that article. But that's, but that's gas, though. At cool, this man, point, yeah, but I mean, it speaks to the immaturity <laughs> it, of, of yeah. Antonio Brown, yeah. though. Yeah. And but that's, that's what makes it look worse. Like, right. it does. But I mean, you fart in somebody's face. That's a far, you know, cry from sexual. And, and I just no, find they, it funny they're not that the same. Right. Is, he's a jerk. Yes. Not right. Only is he a jerk, but I mean, he's being sued by a former personal assistant. He's being sued by a chef. This artist who talks about the sexual misconduct. He yeah. still owes her money. And then there's this pattern of him, like, when he cuts it's people cut, off, it's, yeah. it's in a very, very negative way where it's like, I want nothing to do with you, and I'm going to try to tarnish your name before you can yeah. try to tarnish my name. Because right. what happens is when, when, when you're an asshole... You know, it makes it hard for people to take your side when just so many things that are, are right. going on. Right, I mean, at, at some point, we got to yeah. call a spade a spade. And like, yeah. It's not like this is an isolated incident. Yeah, it's not so many things. Over the summer, like, we talk a lot about the Raiders situation. He had an incident with oldest daughter's mother, where she called the police on him for, for getting physical with her. Yeah. His youngest son's mother has, has called the police on him several times for getting physical with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at some point, it's like, how, when do we stop giving you the benefit of the doubt? Yeah. Right. Right. So, did he rape the woman? We don't know. We weren't there. Yeah. I hope it didn't go that far. Yeah. But, that's but at the same time, it's hard to defend and believe you when yeah. 
all these other things are coming out about yeah. you. Some, somebody got to be but telling she, the truth. But she's not doing herself any favors, though. She's not. Yeah. Either. But that and doesn't that, take that, away that, from that, his that, behavior with, with yeah. the other women and, and these other people. Yeah, with the other women, yeah. But with this particular one, and that was how the whole bandwagon got started was with this one. But she is not looking really good in this one. Not yeah. necessarily. I mean, some of, the, some of these other civil suits were already in the work. This Sports Illustrated well, article. Sorry, I mean, publicly. This was right, the, the one that, But correct. the timing yeah. of everything just kind of like coming out at once is like super alarming. That's what makes me question people, though, because well, it's like, okay. You got to strike while the iron is hot. True. Nah, but the Sports Illustrated thing was being put together actually when things were, yeah. quote unquote, good in Oakland. Yeah. They didn't, the, the article didn't go into all the other antics of getting a frostbite on his feet and yeah. the dispute with the helmet. These were things that were already lining up because yeah. he had yeah. a couple of civil cases along with false police reports about a car being stolen from his yeah. house. Yeah. False police reports about jewelry being stolen from his house. Like, there's a lot of things with Antonio Brown where yeah. we talked about it before when, when yeah. he was just acting up with the Raiders before some of these things. And we kind of talked about, like, is this a cry for help? Yeah. We hear a lot of athletes now talk about mentally how unstable they are. Yeah. Is he one of these guys that just doesn't know, I need, know how to say, I need help? Yeah. And now so he me, acts out. Now, let me ask you guys, in terms of him losing his endorsement uh, with Nike, do you think that these athletes' um, endorsements should be strictly predicated off of their performance as athletes, or do you think all these things going on, you know, whether they're true or not, should determine him losing such deals like the Hellman deal and the Nike? I would like to to believe that and and say that. However, a, as a brand, I can't have you represent my company and you're sexually assaulting women, you're committing murders or assaults or whatever, you know. Something, something to that extreme, you know, the going back and forth with the with the with the the coaches, whatever. I can kind of yeah. get past right. that, but once you get into breaking the law, and I can't have that associated with my brand because then it's I'm basically telling the world and, and our customers that we condone your actions by by us keeping you. So I, no, I can't. But even when it's still in that accusation, like it's that he's not. It's not true yet. It's you know he's still innocent until proven guilty. You think they yeah, should have pulled but the, it already? But the it's because the press is is so harmful. Guilty until proven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, and it doesn't help him that again, there's something after something after true. something mm -hmm. after something. So whereas if it's if it's like say if this is say Russell Wilson. Where he's pretty clean cut, we don't yeah. ever really see him, you know, getting his hands dirty or anything like that. Then it's like, all right, you know what? We can give him the benefit of the doubt. He's never been in trouble. But again, with Antonio Brown, there's always something always. going yeah. on. So you're not going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. I, I mean, no, he doesn't deserve the benefit of the doubt. As far as endorsements, it all has to be tied in because that's the image that you present mm -hmm. to the consumer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When we talk about LeBron James, whether you love his game or not, True. he is a wholesome guy, family man guy. We see that all the time and that's mm -hmm. what gets presented. Yeah. So, I mean, if I had a son, I don't know if I would feel comfortable if my son wanted to have an Antonio Brown jersey. Yeah. Even yeah. if he was on my team. I mean, True. let's just call yeah. it what it is. If, yeah. if, if he's guilty of this stuff. I, that even, stuff. Even, not, even if he wasn't guilty, like there's certain athletes we see that we, we kind of like, yeah, he's he's in a game and it's I respect it, but yeah. like, am I a fan of his? No. Yeah, yeah he's a jerk. Right. So, yeah. You know that's part of the image, and that's why Nike has to step away, and Zenith, who had he had the helmet deal with, has yeah, to step has, away. Yeah, because yeah. it's like we we can't have this guy's the face. And of the they brand. just signed him, so it's right. just like yeah, come on, it just that, that news yeah. broke 14 days ago. Yeah, yeah. and it's it, over it, before the ink dries. It dies out. Right. So <laughs> I mean, if you're the face of the brand and you're the guy we're trying to pitch to these mm. younger athletes, yeah. No, I can't, yeah. we can't have you doing this. I think Antonio Brown should just be an example for any student athletes or professional athletes that. Your reputation precedes you, so mm -hmm. just focus on getting your bag. Because at the end of the day, like yeah. what you're doing off the field, and you know, I agree with you guys both. Um, it's going to completely affect your money and your deals because it is a business. And it's it so. sucks, man. Listen, and, and and this is crazy because now going back to the whole argument about getting paid because these athletes need that, yeah. And then you're getting that, and now mm -hmm. you're doing everything you can to mess it up for yourself. Yeah, it's a shame. Because you could yeah. you could live two lifetimes off of these endorsement deals that these athletes get. But once you break those morals clauses that they have, that's it. It's, it's over. Yeah. You know? And you're not, I'm not going to say not ever, but there's a, there's a better chance that you're not going to make anywhere close to the money you're making in your respective sport yep. now mm -hmm. once your career is over. No. Endorsements take you to the next level for anybody. Yeah, right. So to mess that up or for yeah. foolish. And, and, and the, the image is what is going to allow you to transition yourself after you retire from the game. Right. And that's the thing like you're, you're, you're forgetting because now 
you know, he could he could have easily stepped into being an announcer. Nobody's gonna deal with him mm -hmm. in, that, in that regard. Like, yeah. there's things you can do after you retire, but people just don't want to deal with you if your reputation is is that tarnished. And I think that um, just my last comment on Antonio Brown. I think a lot of uh, athletes, especially um, ones like him that are acting out of character, mm -hmm. they treat it like they're entertainers. So, like yeah. with the entertainment industry. You can look at ASAP Rocky, got arrested, went to prison, came back, and he dropped the video, right? His fans aren't going anywhere. But when you're yeah. an athlete, you are not a rapper. You can't, unfortunately, right. this completely no, aligns with you know the uh, business. It's a business, and you're and representing a whole organization. Is it just the wide receivers? Because I feel like there's a lot of wide receivers that, that get in trouble. Uh, <laughs> it's mainly, right? it's mainly, Terrell Owens, it's, Chad Johnson. It's mainly the wide receivers. Randy Walsh I mean, had his M issues. That makes a great point because a lot of these guys view it that way. It's they feel like I'm the show. Yeah. yeah. And, and to a certain extent, no, no, you're right. Because that's the But you're only the show no. for a short period of time. Right. Yeah. So, you don't have full control over right. your brand. You are not representing Shoot. your own entity. You're representing a whole organization, a state, a, you know, a whole. If you get 10 years, you're fortunate. Yeah, in, and especially to in the NFL. And to Tripp's point, you know, if you play it right, we've yeah. seen guys like Shaq, mm -hmm. like Peyton Manning, mm -hmm. right, who can transition out of the game and continue to make millions mm -hmm. just exactly. through endorsements yeah. and image. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh huh. This is Real yeah. Fans Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought.